Good morning, Knights. Today is March 31st, and it's a Knights Navy Day. And we are only seven hours away from spring break. Today is the last day of Women's History Month. Did you know that the two highest IQs ever recorded through standardized testing both belong to women? Today for lunch, you will have the choice of cheese or pepperoni pizza with chips, veggies, or fruit. Today will be a high of 63. It will be windy with a light rain. Expect there to be thunderstorms. It is 11th grader Bryce Bottoms' birthday today. Happy birthday, Bryce. Don't forget that today is the coffee shop is hiding 35 eggs around the school. If you can find an egg, you can bring it to the cafe for a free item. You better get hopping. Here's Claire and Brogan with our Super Smash Bros update. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Smash Bros. As always, I'm your host Claire Wilhite. And I'm Brogan Lopez. Last time, it was a close call between Mrs. Malat and Miss Stone, but Miss Stone was the winner. Today, we're seeing Mr. Johnson go up the entire lunch crew. I'm sorry, Brogan. Did you just say the entire lunch crew? That's right. All three. All, how many of them are there? I think I put three. All three of them. Whoa, that's crazy. So, Brogan, what are your predictions? I mean... It's hard to beat three people. So I yeah. think they've got the numbers on their side. I think they're gonna win. <laughs> well, that may be true. <laughs> Hawk Johnson has told me that his dad can bench a lot. Well, that so. is a lot. <laughs> Maybe a number <laughs> yeah. three people. <laughs> Maybe. Let, let's see what you guys think. It's time to scan the QR code. We'll see you next time on Super Smash Bros. Teacher Edition. Thanks, Brogan and Claire. Now here's Ryan with today's senior feature. I'm Ryan Kowal with your today's senior feature with Eli Meals. So Eli, what advice do you have for lower classmen? Definitely uh, do your homework on time and uh, keep your AirPods in. Walk around the halls. Don't don't try and get too much drama. I'd say just stay to yourself. Yeah, that's good. What's your favorite memory that you've made at TPCS? I have to say definitely uh, the baseball sectional championship last year. Uh, my first year here, that's what I came for, and hopefully we can repeat again this year. It would be nice. That would be nice. If you could travel anywhere after school, where would it be? Got to say Dubai. Dubai is crazy. Yeah. Dubai is tough. Dubai is tough. What class did you enjoy the most? Definitely uh, Algebra 2 last year with uh, Mr. Morphew. Shout out to him. That's my uh, favorite teacher, i got to say. I don't have him this year, unfortunately, but uh, it's definitely, it's definitely right. a good class. It's a good class. I'm in that class. If you were moving into TPCS, what grade would you want to move in? <sighs> definitely sophomores. It's all my guys. Yeah, baby. It's all my guys. Of course. What are your plans after graduation? Uh, go to college, uh, play baseball, and study sports management. I got you. That's all we have for today. Back to you guys. Thanks, Ryan. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the American and Christian flags. Here's Max Harris with today's Devon Prayer. Today we are focusing on what is probably the most famous verse in the whole Bible, John 3.16. It has been called the Gospel in a nutshell, because it summarizes all that God has done for us. But in some parts of the world, this verse has become so familiar that its profound meaning is sometimes overlooked or taken for granted. To people who are aware of their need for God, this text is as valuable as a loaf of bread to a victim of famine. Propelled by his love for humanity, God the Father sent his one and only Son to save us. Now those who believe in him are saved from death and destruction. They shall not perish. Let us treasure this truth every moment of our lives. Now pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your Son to save us. Knowing Jesus puts our hearts at peace. Help us to live a life of thanksgiving for your salvation. Amen. Yo, everybody, it's me and Carlos asking teachers and students which staff member they want to be their parent. 
If you had to pick one staff member to be your parent, who would it be? Miss Harford. Why? Because she's straight and to the point with everything. Why? So I think she would be a good parent. Why? What do you mean, why? If you had to pick one staff member to be your parent, who would it be? Mrs. Hill. Why? Because she'd let me get away with a lot. Alright. If you had to pick one staff member to be your parent, who would it be? Wow. Um, this is hard for water. Oh, just uh, the no nonsense nurturer. I think. Uh, yeah, I think that would be my answer. If you had to pick one staff member to be your parent, who would it be? Either Miss Watt or Miss Watt. Watt. Uh, they're pretty chill. Uh, they have a good sense of humor. Alright. Which staff member would you pick to be your parent? Uh, my mom or my dad? Do I need to pick one of each? Just pick one. Mom or dad? Um, probably Mrs. Malat. Uh, she just seems to be a very motherly figure to kind of, you know, most of the other students, you know, kind of got that type of personality. I mean, she is a mother, so that kind of helps, too. A lot. Um, she's nice. Seems like she runs her household well. Why do you think Just, you know, from what I've seen. What have you seen? <laughs> I don't know. Just from, you know, what I can infer. Uh, you got to. <laughs> If you had to pick one staff member to be your parent, who would it be? My dad. Why? He's good at it. Alright. <laughs> if you had to pick one staff member to be your parent, who would it be? Miss Malott. Why? Because she's the best. Why? Because, like, she's loving. Alright. If you had to pick one staff member to be your parent, who would it be? Uh, whichever one isn't going to interrupt my Unit 7 lecture about McCullough v. Maryland. Great answer. If you had to pick one staff member to be your parent, who would it be? Uh, go Trump. Why? <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. And that's the point.